Did you go to the movies this weekend? A lot of people did. Marvel fans packed theaters worldwide to watch Sony's Spider-Man No Way Home. The opening weekend was the third biggest domestic opener in history. No, we're not talking about the biggest of the year, even the biggest since the pandemic started. We're talking about the biggest ever for movies. It is remarkable to even consider that we are talking about that. We are still in the middle of a pandemic. This yeah. is fantastic for Hollywood. Fox 31's DJ Summers with a closer look at the promising sign for not just Hollywood, but for movie theaters as well, DJ. Spider-Man No Way Home brought Hollywood home in a way, Erica. This was a giant weekend for the film. It made $260 million in its opener, which actually makes it now, according to most recent numbers, the second highest in history. Only Avengers Endgame made more money in its opening weekend in those blockbuster pre-pandemic days. It made $357 million. Spider-Man beat out the other Avengers opener, too. Infinity War only made $257 million. All right, DJ, so take us back. What were blockbusters doing before the pandemic? They were doing a lot more than they're doing now, Erica. In that 15-month span between 2019 and the beginning of COVID, there were 15 films that grossed over $50 million in the opening weekend. There have been less than half that since COVID started, only six of them. And blockbusters during COVID have been making less, too. In 2019, there were half a dozen films that made more than $100 million during opening weekend. Since COVID, none of them did until Spider-Man. All right, so what's this mean for the 2022 movies? Are things looking better? Do we expect to see repeats of this now? If they keep releasing the right films, Matt, there's definitely a chance. These big releases that make more than $100 million in their opening weekend have a common thread. Comic book movies and Star Wars. Here's those movies in red. On average, they make $46 million more than other genres. And we have some big ones coming out next year. There's another Batman, another Black Panther, and there's another Spider-Man. If we can keep the Omicron variant from shutting everything down again, Hollywood could see a good year in 2022. I have a full list of those upcoming blockbusters in my story online at KDVR.com. DJ Summers, Fox 31.